Josh here with AJ today. Kevin is sick. We're just out checking out this old mine thing. I've seen it from the side of the road a uh, whole bunch of times. And, uh, you know, I come up here and it's kind of neat to look at the artifacts and just see what the, uh, see what the miners were after, you know. It doesn't necessarily mean anything. There's a little red in there. I don't know what that is right now. Maybe some garnet. Uh, maybe some tourmaline. Not 100% positive. But, uh, you know, you just come up and you take a poke. You just kind of look at what they were looking at, what they were following. It's kind of part of uh, cataloging. And I know exactly where I'm at on the map. So all I got to do is go and mark it, see if there's any historical data on this area. And um, just kind of get an idea as to what they're getting into. You can see some pyrite in there, some iron rich ah, stuff in the. And we got some tourmaline coming out, some shoral. You can see it. The black in there which is pretty common for this area right here so that's really not even a bit of a surprise surprise would be seeing maybe a different colored shoral but uh, looks like there's some galena there a little galena there where my thumb is you can see it so we got the typical ores of this area so probably some uranium in here probably all different kinds of little things can hear the four-wheelers humming up the trail. Everyone's uh, getting their groove on for the weekend, but I thought that I'd come up and just take a moment before we went up and dug to take a look at these old mines, because I really love to do it. This is part of why I like coming to the woods, it really is to get evidence of what the old miners we're looking at and this is part of it so AJ and I will kind of look through at the rocks and see if anything stand out and you can see these uh, little chutes that they built along where they were hitting ore deposits and that's how they could load it up very nicely into various areas trucks and things and they could organize it I guess but it's very interesting because so much is left behind you have to figure these guys were after the best of the best of the ore or you know whatever they were going after so many times um, good and not so good rocks alike are uh, tossed aside and I use that as evidence of what the miners were looking at and um, what led them to these areas. Because there's always economic principle in mining. You don't mine for the fun of it. <laughs> but you can just see all the cool rock. As we're walking up here, so many colors, so many patterns. Look at this, some rhyolite. A little bit of rhyolite in there. Got some really black manganese rich, iron rich rocks. There's a really, uh, maybe like a octagon, iron octagon in the rock. That's kind of neat. Let's see that one. I got a little crystal forming in there. Just a little fissure. Little vein crystal. <laughs> Pops out. But that's where you look because those are where the maybe little tourmalines might be hiding. Let's see. Oh yeah, we have some lead ore here. Yeah, it might be kind of hard to see. But that is lead all through here. Likely a galena or something of the sort. He's collecting a few specimen from the area. 
we'll kind of hike up there because I want to see what's going on here. They've got some erosion matting in here, which is probably a better thing. Because the stuff will eat out real quick, as you can see. They're just divoted out where the water came down this sucker. Um, but very interesting area. I love seeing all this. Sure did. Oh, there's a nice piece. Let's see what that piece has to offer. Well, here you can see some alterations in the uh, quartz vein. This was likely a solid piece of quartz, all three here, but sometime it got broken apart and replaced by minerals, like iron rich. Probably a little gold in this rock. Really wouldn't surprise me. It's a pretty cool looking rock. It's hard. Definitely didn't just break apart like I thought it might. So it's pasted together well. And that's a property of this oxidization. You'll notice that it creates areas. Well, that's pretty red. I wonder what that is. Maybe that's some type of garnet. Maybe an aldamine garnet or something like that. I might take this one for my own just knowings. And I'll put it in my collection of mines explored to uh, just add to the ore collection. There's lots of different kinds of ores up here though. There's a couple different veins that they were, ch they were chasing. Ooh. Oh yeah, here you go. There's some pyrite. Probably chalcopyrite. But to be honest with you, which is real common up here. It's most everything's associated with copper in this area. See, uh, you will get normal pyrite also, but most of the time when it's veinous like that, you're seeing chalcopyrite. And uh, look at that old beast, old wire holding that thing up. It's kind of cool. I'll go up a little more just to see. Oh, this one's a beautiful kind of rock here. Oh, let's check that out. Let's check that out. Yeah, look at the garnet in that. Look at the garnet in this piece, man. Oh yeah, it's real nice too. Looks like it's got some yellow and some red in there. Yeah, this piece is nice. In that little hole. I'm gonna find some nicer garnet in here. Didn't even plan on finding any crystals really. I was coming up to really just check out the the mine shaft, but it looks like the ore is getting pretty good up in here. I might have to really take a look ski. I think some of these rocks are hot, so I can feel something on my hands. Probably some uranium in here. That's all right. I evolved faster with the uranium complex. Here you can see the edge of the granite where this black substructure formed. Well, 
so much to look at they, they don't even know what to look at with this one here's really red now you can see some red right there not sure it looks almost like copper it's almost like copper it's more red up in here that's an interesting rock well, that's kind of an interesting rock too I'm just flaking all kinds of shit here. Tell you what, ten minutes in, I'm already seeing lots of beautiful things. I'm gonna stop and get a new video here in a second. So, just so you can see how beautiful this area really is um, and just get an idea where we're at and then I'll cut the video and I'll get you a new one when I see some new ore.